Number 10. When you have a tool selected, you can quickly switch between the free hand tool by holding space. You hold the space bar and use the left side of the mouse to move around. Number 9. To save you some time, you can quickly switch between the color swatch by pressing X on your keyboard and this will swap over the colors which are selected. These are the two colors at the bottom left of the screen on the tool bar. Number 8. Scroll move. To move from left to right, we can hold control and use the scroll wheel to go up and down to move left and right. If you hold control and move down, you will move right. And if you hold control and move up with the scroll wheel, you will go left. To move up and down, we hold shift and use the scroll wheel to go up and down. Number seven. Next up, we have a quick little shortcut to create a new layer. If you hold Ctrl, Alt, Shift and N, you get yourself a new layer. This can save you some time from going to the icon at the bottom. Number 6. Using the pen tool, we can hold Ctrl and click anywhere on the screen to get ourselves a straight line. This will automatically make the line straight, so you can either have it at 90 degrees or you can have it at zero. You can also have it between 45 degrees and this will make it straight automatically. It will lock it and whichever one it's the closest to, that's the one that it will make. So if it's closer to the 90, it will make it a 90. Number five. This shortcut is one of my personal favorites. I use it all the time, no matter if you're on a laptop or computer, you can use it. We use the square brackets on our keyboard to make the size of the brush or any other adjustments to the size. You can use the first one to make it smaller and the second one to make it larger. Number four. Moving on to the next one, we have the same shortcut, but this time we are going to use our mouse to adjust the size and also the hardness of the brush. You want to hold Alt and right click and drag it to the right or down. If you drag it out to the right, you change the size of it. If you drag it down, you change the hardness. Number three. Next up, we have one of the most used shortcuts that I use personally myself, and I can imagine a lot of you would use, and that is Control and J. Control and J duplicates the layer, so you get yourself a copy of the layer which you are selecting. Number two. The second most useful shortcut in Photoshop definitely has to be the zoom tool. The zoom tool allows us to zoom into the little detail and zoom out once we are done editing the small detail. By holding Alt and using the scroll wheel, you can zoom up by scrolling up and scrolling down to zoom out. Number one. And finally, we get to number one. Number one definitely has to be undo because let's be honest, we all make little mistakes. And to correct the little mistakes, we press Control, Alt, and Z to undo if you are on Windows. And for a Mac, it is Control, Command, and Z. You can also redo by pressing Control and Z. And this is my top 10 Photoshop shortcut.